Well, hello, SCDC. Thank you for tuning in to what is a special and unique version of a webcast today. We have had so many requests recently to um, help explain where various SCDC resources are for help with registrations, for different um, questions specific to partners, or where can you find different pieces of information. So we thought today we would put together a really quick webinar on navigating SEDC resources. In particular, we're just going to walk you through the SEDC website. So SEDC.org is where we are. Our great director of membership operations, Clay Snowden, is here to walk us through everything that's on the SEDC website, how to navigate through different opportunities that we have and how to find different things. So thank you so much for the folks that are tuning into this and we appreciate your membership with SEDC, more importantly, all that you do for the American South. So happy to welcome Clay Snowden to the webcast. This is his first time here. So welcome Clay and thank you for walking us through the website. Yeah, thanks Matt. And um, I wanted to say hi to everyone who I have not met yet. Um, one of the most important things about your membership is understanding how to get the most value out of it. So we wanted to take a moment today just to walk through the website, make sure that you're familiar with everything that we have to offer, and maybe even teach you a few things that, that you may be able to pull from this webinar. So as you can see on your screen here, we're on the homepage of SEDC, and this is going to give you a quick glance, kind of a snapshot of what we have going on. So you'll notice that our two big conferences are going to be the first two things that toggle here on the home screen, meet the consultants and the annual conference. And we'll get more information on where to find those later in this webinar. Scrolling down just the initial home screen, you'll see areas to join, um, information about investments, other upcoming events, such as other webinars that you can join, um, the member benefits, and even a little bit of our social media feed. So the first thing that you see is just a quick snapshot of SEDC. On the top here, you'll see all of these different drop down options. And I wanted to work through a couple of these, starting with the about page. The main thing that you all will most likely look for here is going to be the board of directors. And here you'll be able to find everybody who's currently a member of the board for SEDC in case you need to reach out to anybody, but also the state directors, which could be of use. Um, let's say you're a new member, or maybe you don't know anybody else within your state who is an SEDC member. You can reach out to these folks, and they'll be able to connect you, answer any questions that you may have about SEDC, especially if you don't want to ask one of us, maybe, you know, hey, what are their conferences like? What type of people from our state or how many typically attend these conferences. This is a great um, area for you to come in and to contact the state directors and the alternate directors as well with any SEDC questions that you might have. Another part up here, of course, is going to be the membership tab. And this is where you'll find your member benefits. So if you're kind of unfamiliar with what all do I get out of my SEDC membership, you can come here and kind of get a quick overview of everything that we have to offer. Also on the membership tab, you'll notice there is a directory. So if you want to find people within your state, you log in under your information for your membership and you can find anybody who is a member. You can filter it by state as well um, so that you can get a little bit more familiar with who from your area is connected with SEDC. Also on the membership tab are the committees that we currently have. And each committee will have the chair and, and you'll see everyone's titles um, throughout. So if you're interested in learning more about committees, maybe you wanna join a committee or you have a specific question about something within the committees, you can come here, find the contact information, find out who is on these committees. And of course, if you have any issues with this, you can always reach out to us. The last thing I wanna to touch on on the membership tab is the newest thing that we have going on right now, which is the SEDC community. And what this is, is going to be an area where you can come in and it's more or less a social media for SEDC members. 
You can come in here, you can post questions you may have, topics you'd like to discuss, any issues you have in your community. Maybe you're experiencing something that no one else in your state has experienced and you want to ask a larger community, hey, what do I do in this situation? How do I address this? Does anybody have any information here? Um, you can come in and share your success stories as well. It's just a place for members to drive content amongst each other. Um, a great opportunity to network, a great opportunity to meet other people. Um, and on the left here, you all will see your state specific delegation, which you can go in there and talk amongst people who are only in your specific state. So this is just getting off the ground. It's brand new. It's something that we're really proud of and hopefully something that you all will be able to take advantage of. You know, Clay, let me um, yeah. let me mention another thing that we're finding a, a great benefit of of community, which is a economic development only social media side is a great way to think of this. Not only can you you crowdsource and connect with people in your state or just post the content that you want the world's best economic developers to see. So many times, I know we're all like this, we get text messages of, hey, can you send me X person's contact information? Or can you send me their email? Can you, whatever, I need to get in touch with this person. I don't have their number or know how. With this website, SEDC Community, all of our membership are available to you at, at the click of a button. So you can come in and search for any person that you would like and connect with them immediately, have their information and send them an email if you'd like or a direct message. So you can you can explore SEDC community and you can see on Clay's page here, view all 1,025 members who happen to be part of this at the moment. And you can search for who you need and make a direct connection that way. So this is a really, really great, easy, direct way to get in touch with anybody you need to get in touch with. So we're seeing a lot of additional benefit that we really didn't expect on the front end, but could be the most powerful piece of this with SEDC community. So thanks, Clay. Yeah, this, this entire thing, like I said, is very new, but something that we are really excited about and it's something that we are allowing kind of the members to drive. So if you all want to post content amongst yourselves, it's not something that we will just be hitting you with more information about. We will post in there from time to time, but it's a place that we want you all to also be able to communicate. Heading back to the website, we'll start again from the homepage here. I wanted to talk about the events tab. This is where you will find our upcoming events. You'll see mostly on here to begin um, all of the upcoming webinars, and you can just see how many we have. So if you are not currently taking advantage of the webinars, and we're going to touch on that in just a little bit, but the webinar, the, the webinars will all be here along with our upcoming in-person events, um, and you can see the Meet the Consultants event, the annual conference for the next couple of years as well, it's just so you have an idea of where the locations will be. So we'll be going to Florida in 2026. 2025 Oklahoma City and Savannah this upcoming year. Of course, if you click on one of these, you'll be able to, to register and have all of the event details, an idea of what the agenda is going to look like, who's confirmed, pretty much anything and everything that you need to know about these events. All you have to do is click on the event and it'll take you here and give you all of the information that you might need. And going back to the events calendar, you can do the same with the annual conference event coming up in Savannah. There's not as much information yet. This will be updated as we get closer to the event. Another unique part of this is you can go to past SEDC, SEDC events. And this is really helpful for new members who are saying, I don't really know what to expect. Is this something that I want to invest in? Do I want to go to one of these events. Well, you can come here and go through and see photos from previous events, um, kind of, you know, information. I think there's even a video in here just to give you an idea of what these events are about before you make that investment and head down to Atlanta for Meet the Consultants. Next, we'll once again go back to the homepage. Publications. Now, this is where you're going to see the podcasts, webcasts, training library. There's a lot going on here. And the podcast is kind of a um, fun thing that Matt started once he 
once he came to SEDC and um, it, it it's it's great information. It's talking to economic developers, people within our community here, but it's also kind of fun. It's not all just serious. So there's topics that they run through and then kind of a segment where it's a little bit, you know, looser and, and more fun. Matt, do you want to add, add anything to the podcast concerning your, you are the main host here? No, thanks for hitting on the podcast. So like, like Clay said, we'll bring in one of our members or an expert economic developer. We'll dive into the weeds about their their community, what makes it special, their state, just different success stories and best practices. Then every episode, we always say it's time to get real. We put them on the hot seat. And then that's where we'll have a little fun with it. Ask them goofy questions, trying to catch off guard a little bit. But this is a really good opportunity for us to kind of pull back the curtain get to know each other a little bit better, show our personalities and also learn along the way. So the podcast has been a lot of fun. We're just getting started with this. We're about 30-ish episodes in, but we would love for people to subscribe and give those a listen. That We drop about two a month. The webcast is, the way that I like to describe the webcast, is kind of like conference sessions online, kind of one at a time, easy to digest, and you'll find them here also on the YouTube page. So if you have a YouTube account, you can subscribe there to make sure that you don't miss any of these. So you you will find some of those on here. You will also find them under the training library where you can purchase ones that have previously happened. We just had the product development site planning webinar happen this week um, as we are recording it this week. And you can go through and buy these. You can also purchase um, the content from previous conferences as well, which I know some people um, have asked for in the past. Clay, Clay, would you click on the, um, sorry to interrupt everyone. Clay, would you click on the 2023 annual conference, for example? So every every conference that we do now, we have recorded for those that, that aren't available to be with us. But yeah, we we pop those on our training library here. So they will always be available um, for a really efficient price. Um, one stop, you can download 20 hours worth of world-class economic development content presented by experts and site selectors. So this is just an example. This is our annual conference last or the 2023 meet the consultants event was on this event or on this page and you'll expect to see future conferences upcoming on the training library as well so a lot of people are taking advantage of this just um to learn to see what they missed and also to just have as part of their own training archive so this has been a great opportunity for our members we'd encourage people to take a look at it absolutely and um we also have the wage and benefit survey, which I'm sure a lot of you all are familiar with. We will be doing that again this year. You can find previous newsletters here. So the publication tab is kind of an archive of what we've been up to or things that we have put out recently. Of course, there is the resources tab that has, again, a plethora of opportunity for you to come in here and kind of find different value. The Career Center, this is where you can come in and you'll see, um, you'll be able to post your job. If you're looking to hire somebody, you can come here to post your job and uh, open that up to our community. And maybe you can find somebody within SEDC. Um, also through here, the American South. Matt, do you want to kind of touch on what this is all about? Sure. So back to the, the, re the, um, the Career Center, we have a very, very robust Career Center that is updated with multiple new positions weekly that are largely focused in the South, as you can imagine, but we receive plenty of out of region job opportunities throughout the, the nation, sometimes international as well. So you can see there are a lot of job opportunities here. There are at least three pages right now. So I would really encourage people to, to always be mindful of the SEDC career page. This is also the best way to find um, up and coming or even seasoned talent. So this goes on our website. This gets a lot of clicks. Then Matthew Darius always pops it on our social media as well. So that receives a lot of eyes. So Clay had mentioned the, the American South tab. So SEDC has launched what is AmericanSouth.net. We've really leaned into American South as the branding icon or the, the branding of our region. So we will also be engaging in a lot of FDI work on behalf of our membership 
in 2024. So we'll be doing international missions, or representing at various trade shows that are aligned with our tar target markets. This will all be under the umbrella of the American South. So everything FDI will be branded as American South and will be very, very active in 2024. And our members are welcome to be part of that. Absolutely. Again, the, the resources tab has so much to work through that I, I suggest everybody taking a moment to just click through these and kind of see if any of them apply to you. I, I'm not going to walk through every single one of them today. Uh, Matt, are there any other specific ones that, that you want to touch on right now? I know that we'd be here all day if we walked through every single one. We have important partners here that are involved in professional development. For example, the Community Development Institute that is known nationally so well respected. SEDC is a great partner of that. So please take a look at CDI, the Community Development Council. If that aligns with your professional development needs, we'd be honored if you would consider that. So I am a former state association, economic development association, the states play such an important role in advancing or upping professional capacity to advance economic development that are so important for pro-growth policy and, and part of just a really important, meaningful part of the success of the South. So we would love for you, if you're not a member, to join SEDC, but if you're not a member of your state association, you can find them right here and please take a serious look at joining those organizations. It's never been more important to invest in pro-growth groups like us like your states. So you can find them here, click to their website, see what they've got going on and consider membership there too. Awesome. The last thing while well, I've got to move my little, there we go. Um, we do offer scholarships as well, the last tab here. Um, the, these scholarships, and you can run through all of the specific qualifications and what it takes to be awarded a scholarship, if, if that is something of interest to you. But um, they do offer, or excuse me, we do offer five professional development scholarships throughout the year. And like I said, all of the special qualifications can be found in here if that is something that is of interest to you. But it'll allow you to go to an SEDC event at an even further discounted price than just a membership price. Keep checking back on the, the scholarship page as well. I think we can say members could expect a broadening of the eligible uses um, for SEDC Foundation scholarship funds, which could potentially include FDI missions on that vein as well. Under the resources tab is a link to the Trans-Atlantic Business Investment Council, TBIC, Mateus Bear. So many people know it's an important partner of SEDC. So I want to make sure that you know that they're under the resources tab as well. But keep checking back on this scholarship page for those opportunities. Absolutely. And you can find, as you see to the right here, there's a one of our social media feeds, you can find SEDC on multiple social media platforms. And I'm sure that you already follow them. If not, that's a great opportunity as a way to just keep up with what we have going on, upcoming events, different opportunities that we might have as well. So again, that was just a brief overview of the website. Make sure that everyone has an understanding of kind of the different types of value that we offer and see if there's anything that you may not know about that you want to take advantage of for your membership. Matt, do you have anything else to add today? Nope. Thanks for walking us through that, Clay. Thanks for everyone for tuning in as well. You can always get in touch with us through the links via the website. You can get Clay at clay at sedc.org at any time. So thanks so much, Clay. Matthew Darius for running this thing and to our members for tuning in.